Hello everyone! I'm down at the construction site today to see if any of my construction friends need my help. Eric digs the rocks and soil from the ground and loads it into the dump bed on the back of Dylan. Eric the excavator and Dylan the dump truck make the perfect team. Eric, what's wrong? I think I know what the problem is. Eric's bored of doing the same job, day in and day out. Eric, would you like to try something different for a change? Let's get you to the garage and see what we can do. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Eric turn. Eric's come to the garage feeling sad because he wants to try other jobs so bad. Let's take a look at Eric's tools and see if we can change the rules. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with Eric's parts. He just wants to try something different. Luckily, excavators are designed to change the tool on the end of their arm. This is the boom and this is the arm. At the moment, Eric's got a bucket attached. This is perfect for digging. Florence, Florence, come in Florence. Please could you find the new excavator attachments and meet me and Eric at the construction site. Go on mechanicals, let's see what's in crate number one. It's an impact hammer. This tool is perfect for breaking bits of rock into smaller pieces. Have a good day at work Eric. The impact hammer breaks big rocks and makes them really small. But just look at Eric, he doesn't seem keen at all. Oh, I see the problem that the impact hammer makes. It vibrates around so much, poor Eric has the shakes. Oh dear Eric, it sounds like the impact hammer wasn't quite the right tool for you. Eric found that tool too shaky. Let's try something else. Let's see what's in crate number two. It's a grabber. This tool is perfect for picking up large objects like logs. Time to try the grabber. Let's pick up all those trunks. Just listen to the noise it makes. All whirs and clicks and clunks. The problem with the grabber is Eric has to watch the weight. Otherwise he'll topple over and uh-oh, it's too late. Hmm, it doesn't sound like the grabber was quite right for you either, Eric. It was too heavy. Let's see what's in crate number three. It's a rock saw. This powerful tool is very sharp and spins really, really fast. It cuts through rock. Eric powers up the rock saw and it chews rock without a stutter. Just look at it cut them up like a hot knife through butter. But the noise is far too loud and sparks are flying everywhere. Poor Eric looks so upset. It's given him quite a scare. That wasn't right either, was it, Eric? That tool was too scary. Mechanicals, what's in that last box? It's a bale spiker. This tool is perfect for helping Trevor the tractor down on the farm. It spikes 
lifts and moves hay bales. The bale spiker is much quieter. It's simple, but it's clever. Just the thing for Eric to help on the farm with Trevor. But now the hay is blowing about in the warm summer breeze. Poor Eric must be allergic to hay. Look, it's made him sneeze. Oh dear Eric, we haven't had much luck with these new attachments. But let me think. I reckon I've got the perfect tool just for you. It's your old reliable bucket. The perfect tool for you to work with your best friend Dylan. Good old Eric. Sometimes you don't know what you've got until it's gone. I'm really pleased that Eric finally realised he really loves his job. Thanks very much for helping out. And thanks to you for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye! Round and round and up and down Eric likes to dig The rocks and rubble from the ground Underneath the twigs There's no trouble loading And he's filling up the lorry These rocks will make a new road now He's dug them from the quarry Eric the excavator And digging is his job He's an excavator It's time to load this rock He moves on caterpillar tracks That's really very clever The boom can reach out front and back And dig in any weather It's time for Eric to hide away to let the blast begin Then lots of empty dumpers come Now you can watch him spin Eric the Excavator And digging is his job He's an excavator It's time to load this rock The dipper and the bucket help To dig a hole so deep They're strong and do the job so well even when it's deep Eric the Excavator And digging is his job He's an excavator It's time to load this rock Eric the Excavator And digging is his job He's an excavator It's time to load this rock Danny the digger's here today. He doesn't need fixing. He's helping me. He's going to do some digging and moving so that we can build a new surprise part of Gecko's garage. First we need this ground all flat. Danny, do you think you can help with that? Well done, Danny. That's nice and smooth. Now there's even more soil for you to move. I need you to dig me four large holes so they can hold four metal poles. The first hole needs to be at the top on the left. The second hole at the top on the right. The third hole at the bottom left and the fourth hole at the bottom right. The holes you've dug are what we need for our new project to succeed. At digging holes you are the best Let's let the mechanicals help with the rest Go, go mechanicals! 
one pole in each of the holes. One, two, three, four. The floor goes at the bottom. That part goes on the left. And that part goes on the right. Those bits go at the back. And those go at the front. And the roof goes on the top. Uh-oh, Danny. The roof has to go very high up. Can you help the mechanicals to lift it on? You're a good friend, Danny. We are so lucky. But all that digging has made you mucky. So you'll be the first to splish and splosh in our brand new Gecko's Garage Car Wash! Thanks again for all your help, Danny. See you again soon. Oh no! Our sign's blown down in the storm. The mechanicals can fix it, but how can we get it back onto the roof? Hmm, I know. Caroline the Crane. She's just the vehicle for the job. Hello, Caroline. Good to see you. Now that the wind has stopped, could you please help us get our sign back onto the roof? Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. There must be something wrong with your winch motor. Let's get the mechanicals to take a look at you. Come on inside the garage. Vehicle turntable, spin, spin, spin. Let's make sad Caroline grin, grin, grin. Go, go mechanicals. Hmm. Everything seems okay here. I think you just need some oil. We need someone who can reach. Go, go, super mechanical! Oil should have freed everything up. Let's test your winch. One meter, two meters, three meters, four meters, five meters. Everything seems to be working fine now. How high can you lift them, Caroline? Uh-oh, I didn't mean that high. You've crashed right through the roof. Before we get this sign back up, I think the mechanicals had better get that hole fixed. We don't want any rain getting into the garage. Now that the mechanicals have fixed the hole, 
Reattaching the sign is our new goal. Caroline lifts it high off the ground, so people can see it for miles around. Thanks for your help with the sign, Caroline. Uh-oh, now the hole's fixed and Caroline's gone home. The mechanicals are stuck up on the roof. Let's hope they get down before the next episode. Bye! Mia the Mini Digger is helping her big brother Danny dig holes on the building site today. You've been working very hard. I think it's time for a rest. Aren't you going for a break too, Mia? What's wrong? You look sad. Oh, I see. You want to dig a hole as big as Danny's. Don't be so glum, Mia. You're good at lots of other things. Um, Mia, I'm not sure that's a good idea. You're a little digger, and that's a very big hole. Danny's a bigger digger, so it's easier for him to dig big holes. A mini digger just can't dig a hole that deep, a hole that big. But Mia digs three days and nights until she disappears from sight. Her scoop gets caught upon some rubble. Uh-oh, I think that Mia's in trouble. There's no one around to hear her shout. Oh, how can we get Mia out? This looks like a job for Helen the helicopter. Go, go, Helen! We're coming, Mia! Hold on tight, Mia! Garage roof open at speed! It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's take a good look at you and see what's wrong. Hmm. It looks like your scoop's broken. And one of your tracks. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. They'll get you fixed in no time. Go, go mechanicals! You tried to copy Danny, but you came unstuck. And you ended up trapped in the muck. Your older brother's much, much bigger. Remember, you're a mini digger. We'll swap your scoop and fix your track. And soon you'll be on your way back. There you are, as good as new. Now, Danny has a job for you. Danny needs to dig a small hole in the floor of this new building. He may be really good at digging big holes, but he's too large to fit through the doors and his scoop is far too big. I wonder who he could get to do the job. That's right, it's the perfect job for you, Mia. I told you that you were good at other things. Danny the digger's big and can dig big holes. Mia's small and is the right size to dig smaller holes in hard to reach places. Good job, Mia. I knew you could do it. There's a perfect job for each of you here at the construction site. Danny the Digger and his family are working very hard on the building site today. It rained last night and now the building site is covered in thick brown mud. Danny and his family look very tired and very muddy after all their hard work. You can't even tell who's who. I think it's time to get cleaned up. Danny, Caroline, Ryan, Celia. It's time to bring everyone over to Gecko's garage so that you can get all cleaned up in our truck and car wash. How many yucky 
mucky construction vehicles need cleaning up today. Can you help me count them? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten! Ten muddy construction vehicles needing a wash. Let's start cleaning you all up so that we can see who is who. One at a time, into the car wash. Smallest construction vehicle first. Our first vehicle's the smallest, but she more than pulls her weight. It's Florence the fabulous forklift. She helps lift pallets and crates. The second through is little too, but his talent never ends. Tiny Sid, the skid loader, loves helping all his friends. Three is waving her scooping arm. You really can't have missed her. It's Mia, the mini digger. She's Danny's little sister. Vehicle four won't let you down, even when things get bumpy. It's Rick, the reliable road roller. He stops roads being lumpy. I think we all know number five, even if he's covered in glue. That's right, it's Danny the Digger with his brand new extra scoop. Number six is in a fix, all muddy, tired and glum. It's Celia, the cement mixer, with her churning, spinning drum. Number seven really makes a mess when he carries things around. Yes, it's Dylan the dump truck always tip stuff on the ground. And number eight loves breaking things, always has a smashing time. It's Ryan, the wrecking ball crane. So there's just two more left to rhyme. Our ninth friend is, uh-oh. Oh dear, this is a problem. The two largest vehicles won't fit in our truck wash. They're far too big. We're going to have to wash them another way. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go mechanicals! Our ninth friend's too big for the truck wash. She's so giant there just wasn't room. It's Caroline, the mobile crane, with her telescopic boom. We've already cleaned up one dump truck, but now there is one other. George, the giant dump truck. He's Dylan's big, big brother. Rick, the road roller, is at the construction site today. He helps Danny the digger and his other friends by making surfaces flat and safe to drive on. Without him, vehicles would have a very bumpy ride. Rick can flatten soil, sand, concrete, tarmac, or even gravel. Ah, it looks like Celia's filling that deep hole with concrete. When concrete dries, it's rock hard and good to build on. 
Oh no, look out Rick, don't roll into that concrete, it's only just been poured and it's far too deep. Uh oh, too late, oh dear, Rick is stuck and Caroline McCrane's at another job and she's not here to pull him out. This looks like a job for Helen the helicopter. Go, go, Helen! Let's get you back to the garage and fix you up. Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Did you enjoy your flight, Rick? Let's take a good look at you. Oh dear, you're well and truly stuck in that concrete. Don't worry, the mechanicals will get you out in no time. Go, go, Mechanicals! It must have been an awful shock. To get stuck in concrete, that hardens like rock. Please don't worry, without a doubt, the Mechanicals jackhammers will break you out. There, as good as new. Let's go outside and test your roller to make sure everything's in full working order. Careful Mechanicals, stand well back, we don't want you getting squashed. Ok Rick, squash those shapes. The first shape to squash is over here, a big round ball we call a sphere. Rick rolls it flat and then we find, a circle has been left behind. A big tall pointy pyramid second shape that Rick has hid. Rick rolls it flat and now we've found a triangle left on the ground. This one has six faces all the same, a cube is its name. Rick rolls it flat and now down there we have a perfect flattened square. The final one to be destroyed, a shoebox shape. It's a cuboid. Rick pushes down, the shape is mangled, and now we have a flat rectangle. Very impressive, Rick. Looks like you're back to your old self again. You better get back to the construction site. Danny the digger will be worried about you. I'm glad we could get Rick out of that concrete and back to normal. He'll have to watch where he's going in future, so that he doesn't get into any more trouble. Danny the Diggers dug out a big trench in the soil to build a new road. Here's Dylan the dump truck. He's dropping off a load of stones and rubble to put on top of the soil to make the road strong. Dylan, please can you dump the rubble there, so that Danny can scoop it into the trench. Dylan's a very helpful vehicle on the construction site. Now that he's helped Danny the digger, he can now take away all these old broken blocks that Ryan has smashed down. Mia, can you help to lift the blocks onto Dylan's dump bed please? Dylan's a very strong vehicle, so he can carry a lot of heavy things around. Dylan has two hydraulic pistons, which push his dump bed up into the air, so that he can quickly dump his load onto the ground, just like that. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. Something's gone wrong and Dylan can't lower his dump bed again. Dylan, you better come to Gecko's garage right away.
garage doors open at speed. It's time to help. A vehicle in need. I hope Dylan can get under the door frame with his dump bed stuck like that. Hello Dylan, you made it through okay. Drive onto the platform so that we can take a good look at you. This is Dylan's dump bed where he carries heavy loads. And these are his hydraulic pistons which are super powerful. They push the end of the dump bed up into the air so that the load can slide out quickly. Hmm, those pistons look damaged. They won't let the dump bed come down again. I'll get the mechanicals to swap them for new ones. Go, go mechanicals! Oh dear, if the mechanicals remove the broken pistons, then the dump bed will fall down and squash them flat. What can we do? I know, this looks like a job for Super Mechanical. Go, go Super Mechanical! Poor old Dylan the dump truck. No wonder he's wearing a frown. He can't bring his friends the things they need when his dump bed won't go down. Super Mechanical holds him steady while the others make him good as new. And now they've swapped his pistons. Let's see what he can do. Dylan's loaded up with tarmac. We repaired him and he's thrilled. He's driving to see Danny. There's a road they have to build. Danny's finished the base layer of the road and now they just need to add the tarmac. Dylan, can you slowly pour the tarmac out please? Brilliant! Your hydraulics are working perfectly now. That's looking good. I think it's time for our other friends to help out. Here comes Rick the road roller to roll the road flat. Great work Rick. Now the road is flattened, it just needs its lines painting. And look, here comes Sid the skid loader. He has a line painting attachment. What a nice straight line he's painting. Well done Sid, that looks brilliant. Now the road's finished, we need someone to test it out. Here comes Bobby the bus, he's very big. If the road can take his weight, then it must be really strong. Looking good. Great job everyone. Florence the forklift, she's so clever, moving the parts around the store. Florence the forklift goes forever, she puts them down upon the floor. She turns to the left and reaches high, then she turns to the right as she passes by. Florence picks up things from down, down low, she's super strong and she can go, go, go. Lift. Florence the forklift turns in circles, she can go back and the forklift likes to chuckle She loves to lift parts from the ground She turns to the left and reaches high Then she turns to the right as she passes by Florence picks up things from down, down low She's super strong and she can go, go, go Show them what you can do, Florence Left Right Up Florence 
Picks up things from down, down low She's super strong and she can go, go, go Oh, that was so much fun, Florence. Love this video? Tap here so you're the first to know about my latest videos. Thanks for watching! Bye!